The Dallas Cowboys home opener is coming up Sunday as they welcome the New Orleans Saints to AT&T Stadium and joining me for a preview is locked on podcast host Landon McCool. Good morning, Landon, and I was there in Cleveland on Sunday. I was pleasantly surprised wanting to know your first impressions from game number one. I certainly didn't expect Cleveland to play uh, as poorly as they did. Uh, I, I thought it was going to be a little bit more of a of a of a you know fifty fifty battle, uh, but clearly Dallas took control of that game early and and they just squeezed Cleveland and and put Cleveland in a position uh, on offense where they just couldn't move the ball and, and everything just wasn't working. So hopefully that happens again this week. I, I certainly don't expect it, but I, I didn't expect it last week either. And the opponent, the New Orleans Saints, they looked really good in week number one. They pounded yeah. the Carolina Panthers, scoring on their first nine possessions. So are the Saints really this improved, or was it just the opponent they were playing? I, I mean, I think it's got to be a little bit of both, right? I mean, I, I spent the, the entire week trying to figure out, you know, just how good the New Orleans Saints are and just how bad the Carolina Panthers are because obviously the Cowboys are going to face them a little bit later in the year as well. Uh, I, I do think that the Saints, you know, look a little bit better. They, they, their offense is a Shanahan-based offense, which the Cowboys have had traditionally problems with. Uh, I think, you know, Shanahan kind of uh, offense is what we faced a little bit with Stefanski last week. So maybe the Cowboys have uh, solved a, a little bit of those issues with Zimmer. So uh, I do think that this offense, you know, has some explosive playmakers. And, and if you give Derek Carr time, that he will get the ball down the field. Uh, but I also think that they are going to have some injuries on the offensive line likely this week, just like Cleveland did. Uh, and Dallas is pretty good about taking advantage of those opportunities. Okay, everybody's got their money. Dak got his, CD got his. Zeke Elliott seemed to have a little bit of wiggle in his first game back. So what do we make of the offense? Yeah, I, I think the offense, you know, still is trying to sort it out. You know, they, they seemed a little bit uh, uh, off sorts, especially in the second half where they, they weren't really able to achieve a, a first down off of a third down. I think they were 0 for 5 on third down. So I think that they're going to want to run the football a little bit more. I don't think they got to as many touches as they wanted just based on what Mike McCarthy is saying. So th they'll likely try to run the football because I think they're going to have a, an advantage in the middle of their offensive line versus the middle of that Saints defensive line. And the Saints secondary is very good. It's, it's, it's a veteran team. So uh, I, I think they're going to try to send a lot of pressure Dak's way on passing downs, which is you know, traditionally a, a bad idea against Dak because he's very good against the blitz. Um, but I, I think, you know, in order to kind of stabilize the game, uh, uh, the Cowboys will potentially try to get a little bit more in their run game this week uh, and hopefully, you know, finish the finish the, the drives with touchdowns uh, with Dak Prescott throwing the ball through the air. I can tell you in the press box, a lot of buzz about that new look Dallas defense with new coordinator Mike Zimmer and also DeMarvian Overshown seemed to be all over the field in his first yeah. NFL game. Just what were your takeaways on the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, Overshone's a guy that, you know, folks who have been watching the team closely have been really highly anticipating his uh, debut. Uh, he, he showed a lot last year in training camp before he got injured. He showed a lot in training camp this year. Uh, and so the, the folks that were out there at Oxnard aren't shocked because they saw him flying around the field out there. It's it's obviously exciting to see him kind of take that up a level into the NFL. But uh, this is this guy, I think, is, is a future superstar. And I think he had an incredible debut on Sunday. It only goes up from here. All right, real quick, let's get your prediction, your score for this Sunday's game, the home opener. Yeah, I think, you know, again, for the Cowboys, it's it's going to be a, a, a game where they're going to try to control the game, I think, early like they did against the Browns. Uh, uh, and the defense for the Cowboys is, is likely going to have a, a, a real – fun afternoon uh, chasing after Derek Carr, especially if they are going to be end up missing their left guard, potentially even their, their rookie left tackle, that they, they might have a hard time. So I'm going to pick the Cowboys to win, especially at home. Uh, let's say 30 to 24. I, I just think that, you know, the, the Cowboys defense is going to give the, the Saints offense uh, more problems than the Panthers did. That's for sure. And the Cowboys offense, I think they're going to right the ship. They're going to get into the running game a little bit more, and then that'll turn at, open things up more for the passing game as well. A 2-0 start sounds good to me, Landon. Thank you very much for joining us, joining us this midday. And don't forget, you can catch Landon with new episodes of Locked on Cowboys every day. Subscribe wherever you get your podcast. And make sure you wake up with us Monday after the game because NFL insider Ed Werder will join Mark Iztook on Daybreak to break it all down. Werder has covered the Cowboys for decades and brings you the kind of insight you're not going to get anywhere else. Tune in to the 6 o'clock hour of daybreak Monday morning right here on WFAA.
and we want to hear your take on the game as well. Our call in show is back Monday at 1130. So get ready to give us a call with your Monday morning quarterback opinions.